Hi cute fans! Today I have an exciting and fun activity for you to do um, with going back to school. Um, I'm going to show you a few ideas and what I've done with my kids in decorating lockers. Um, it depends on where you live as to how young you start with a locker. Here where I live they start about 7th grade but I know um, my friend Mindy with Cute Girls Hairstyles they start their lockers at a much younger age and so I have a few fun ideas to show you. We're going to be doing a series of locker videos. Today is part one and I'm going to be showing you a girl idea. So you can do one of two things. Either you can prepare everything at home with all your cutting or you can take your stuff with you and just cut it right there at school. And that's how I'm going to show you what we're going to do today because with my daughter I just took everything with me and we just did it right there at school. It's what was easiest for us. So the first thing you need to do is you need to know how wide your locker is on the door from inside here to inside over here. So I have my ruler and I'm going to measure and this one is just under nine inches. And so I'll probably just cut eight and a half um, just because it doesn't really matter so much. So I know that I'm going to do eight and a half. So what I have here is my supplies and this is what I would take with me to the school. And for this idea um, we're continuing with the ugly doll theme that my daughter loves so much. And so I went to the scrapbook section at Hobby Lobby because I like their scrapbooking paper. The other store that I like most for scrapbook paper is Joann's but Target, Walmart, and most craft stores will carry scrapbook paper. Or you can go directly to a scrapbooking store um, and find lots of wonderful things. So because Hobby Lobby has theirs on sale for half price a lot of the time, I like to go there. So I went and I knew uh, what color ugly dolls were uh, my daughter's favorite. So I found some fun prints. I got a stripe. I found this really cool glittery stuff. And I got, because you never know what, what how you're going to want to use what, and because the paper's cheap enough, I just got several different ones. So I got a stripe, a pink, a polka dot, a lime green, and this is her favorite color right now, so we got the sparkle in that. And I'll show you how I used the sparkle in a little bit. But I think... I want to do the stripe um, for all of my background. So I'm going to cut three pieces at eight and a half inches. And if you don't have a paper cutter like this, you can do it several different ways. They have really inexpensive scrapbook cutters and or you can always measure with a ruler and draw a line with a pencil and cut it with old-fashioned scissors. Um, but I'm going to cut my paper and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, I've put two pieces up in my locker door already and one thing you have to remember or would be wise to remember if you're using a patterned paper make sure you cut the paper all the same so that your pattern um, will match up. If you have a solid color this won't matter but obviously if you have a pattern you'd need to cut the same side of the paper on all the pieces. Okay so for this locker three pieces is enough and I also have here the hardware and so what I'm doing on that one is I stuck it on there and I'm just going to make it really easy and just punch those holes right through because there's really not a whole lot else we can do. Okay, I have all my paper up, and now I'm going to add my accessories to this theme. I found this uh, dry erase board at Walmart, and you can find dry erase boards all over the place. So find what works best for you, and I'm going to add this one here. And then um, for this one, I found this letter B, which you can find at all different kinds of craft stores. This one happens to be from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99. I got it for half price when it was on sale and so it was 99 cents. Uh, I took the B and then I took my scrapbook paper and turned it over and traced out my B and then cut it out and glued it on the front to make the cute little glitter. Um, I used a heavy duty magnet and I'm going to put that B on here. And then 
If you watch back in my back to school supply labels video, I talk about um, print artist that I use all the time. Um, you can use print artist for this project or um, just simply take images from Google Images and copy and paste them into whatever program you have, but I did that with several of these ugly dolls. Then I cut out of my scrapbook paper a piece that mat or that fit my ugly doll and I'm going to put those guys up here with my double stick tape or double sided tape. And so I have two of those and I have one more. This one's cute little whippy. You can even stick him on there. And then I took I made some little um quotes that are some of the funny little things that the ugly dolls say. Oh, that's that's my answer. I don't want that there. Um so well, who are you calling ugly? So this one says, hey ugly. This is Suddy, and he's saying to Big Toe, who you calling ugly? So then I have my dry erase markers, and they're magnetized as well that you can get anywhere. You get office supplies. And this is just a cute, oh, in here for locker decoration, I also added some of the little hanging ugly dolls, and we are ready to go. Another thing that you can use that will work really well to have a really secure um, fit for lockers when you're slamming your doors are these 3M uh, picture hanging strips. These are Velcro. So um, just remember that you need heavy duty security um, for your locker. And this is just one idea that you can use. Pick something that you love, something that um, means a lot to you, um, something that's popular to you or um, just something that you're really into. You don't have to use my ideas. I'm just showing you some where I start and how I do my projects. I like this locker. I think it's pretty cute. I hope you like it too. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for another cute idea.